Hello there, you're watching Focus On. Last week, Bank of Kigali unveiled BK Digital, a combination of technology products the company has been working on to enhance customer experience and ultimately help usher the bank into a new era of banking. In this segment of Focus On, CNBC Africa goes into detail to show how Bank of Kigali PLC is shutting the future of digital banking. My name is Julius Bismongo. In 2018, the bank began the journey to go digital. That journey would include putting in place the right infrastructure, changing processes, and re acquiring talent required to build products and services that will propel the bank. Four years down the road, the bank has unveiled an upgraded mobile banking system, an internet banking system that will allow customers to do more without leaving the comfort of their houses or offices, and a new mobile, mobile lending application. The people of Rwanda, their lives are evolving. People are changing. They are no longer tied to their homes. They are no longer tied to their workplaces. People are out there. They are making connections. So they really need a bank that can keep up. So it's, it's also evident that people love the BK mobile app. People have the appetite for the mobile app. As of now, we have 57,000 active app users. And our vision at Bank of Kigali is to make sure that every smartphone, Rwanda, every smartphone user in Rwanda is going to be using the BK Mobile app. And because this vision is so important to us and to the country, I believe, um, we are, we've worked so hard, so hard to make sure that the app that we're going to present to you today can actually match that vision and is going to attract every smartphone user in Rwanda. So ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to present to you the banking app that can keep up. Welcome to BK Mobile App. This app won't be like your average banking app. This app is convenient. It's flexible. It's reliable. It's going to give you an experience that is different from the experience that you are receiving in the in-person banking. With this app, you no longer have to line up in branches or rely on a customer relations manager to give you information regarding your accounts because you can all do it in one place using this app. We started this journey four years ago, the journey of digital transformation. And in August 2021, we launched our own in-house developed internet banking platform, Internet Banking 1.0. In just one year, this platform has grown tremendously with about 3,000 users added on the platform per month. And the platform is now processing about 200 billion, 200 billion transactions per month. These are some of the services that we are providing on the platform. Account management, bank transfers, bill payments, bulk payments, mandate management, international transfers. These are our latest additions, international transfers and FX. So now businesses do not have to come or send someone or call your relationship manager when you need a preferential rate. We have brought treasury right on your computers. You can now get a preferential rate with our internet banking. Since its launch, we have worked with you. We have listened to your feedback. And I am happy to announce that we, will continue, uh, we are continuing to improve because of your feedback to improve and upgrade our system. So we are introducing to you Internet Banking version 2, what we are calling. Some of us, most of us, have gone through the journey of requesting a loan. How tedious, endless processes. 
most of all, time consuming. We have heard your pain points and we are here to address it. I present to you BK Digital Lending. So, <laughs> looking at the pain points, we would like our customers to have a seamless experience and a paperless, hassle-free experience in the coming future. At Bank of Kigali, we want our customers to feel how valuable, important they are to us through the digital lending features that we are extending to them. Let's take another example. Uh, we have stated how it's difficult to get a loan. Now, let's say after a certain period, you have a loan. At the comfort of your home, you just want to know your loan status. How much are you supposed to pay this month? Or maybe you want uh, to get a loan extension. Or you would like to pay off at once. Before, it would require you to go to a bank in order to have the same being done by a human being. Now, at Bank of Kigali, we want to introduce ways that you can do it at the comfort of your home. And we believe that once you have control over your finances, this will make you a great achiever. These digital products, Bank of Kigali say, will create a bedrock upon which the bank can become fully digital in the future. It is an investment that could have cost millions of dollars, and it's just the beginning. So this journey that we are celebrating today started about four years ago, not 2016. It started about uh, 2018. And we set a vision to give anyone, anywhere, the best customer experience through digital. So this is our vision. And the journey started with a very tedious and comprehensive assessment of our capabilities, of our systems. And it revealed a lot of weaknesses and, and vulnerabilities. It revealed terrible architecture of our systems, very limited capabilities to deal with digital. It revealed skills gap, and that's why I think Obina is celebrating we, with me today because we've been able to build critical skills uh, for digital. So the journey had to involve a lot of heavy lifting. You can imagine that. Uh, because we are working on infrastructure, on architecture, new systems, etc. We even do construction in our main building because we have to build a new data center. You can imagine the heavy lifting that we are doing. So we also did an implementation of a new core banking system. Uh, people call it in banking, it's like a heart transplant. You have to sort of change the heart of the bank. And we did that, and we're very happy that we were able to uh, celebrate this uh, milestone last year. We did a lot of an intensive training on the job. So most people you'll see here have been actually trained on the job, trained by doing things every day. So all that we had to do, we had to still serve our customers, try to give decent services to our customers, we had to run a business and deliver decent returns to our shareholders. All this heavy lifting at the same time managing a large organization. You know, I, I joined the bank uh, not too long ago, June 2020. Um, and uh, this app project specifically started, we started building it um, at the beginning of 2020. Uh, if I remember, sorry, the beginning of 2021. So it hasn't been that long. Um, I, you know, I took over the team. Um, uh, you know, took over for, from where my predecessor left off. He did a great job um, and, and, and took the division from there. And uh, the people that we brought in, uh, the opportunities we gave them um, to build amazing things, uh, to work on amazing things, uh, the platform, uh, I'm just really happy that the trust that I placed in them, uh, they didn't let me down. And I'm just so happy about that. Um, and after that, uh, after the people, I'm, I'm really happy about the products. Um, we really do believe that we have what it takes to have, um, you know, best in country, uh, and regionally and, and continentally competitive um, digital products um, because of those people that I, that I spoke about. And I'm really happy that the public gets to see what we've been working on and very soon get their hands on it. Um, and beyond all of that, you know, with the permission of obviously my, my boss, um, 
Resetting expectations. Uh, what people expect when they see Bank of Kigali or a bank in general, right? What we're capable of. Um, banks typically are very boring, right? You go there when, I don't know, when there's an issue really. Like only when there's an issue do you really interact with the bank. But we want people, I want people to think of a bank differently. I want people to have love for their bank, the way that you love Apple or Android or, you know, Google, all these tech companies, you know, that market themselves in such a way and produce products that um, delight customers. That's what I want people to think of when they think of Bank of Kigali. Uh, they should expect amazing products from us. They should expect us to be responsive to their needs and they should expect us to be able to create whatever, um, uh, you know, solutions to issues that they have that they can imagine. So we are building products with a deep sense of responsibility a deep sense of purpose because the journey is transformation of people's lives so it's not a simple thing it's not just building banking products we have a bigger purpose that is transforming lives in rwanda well, you know we're already the largest bank but our business is dominated by governments and very very big business right um, we want to be truly the bank of the people and you cannot do that you cannot scale without technology so with these new apps um, these new platforms we want to make our services accessible and easy to use and relevant for everybody um, ambitiously you know we want to bank everyone every single soul in rwanda one day and we have what it takes and you know we welcome competition um, but we're going to do our very best to serve every rwandan uh, in the very best way uh, that they want mm. Bank of Kigali's digital journey is well aligned with Rwanda's vision for digital transformation. Rwanda wants to become a knowledge-based economy, and the country has placed ICT and innovation at the center of its development journey. And with years of investment in infrastructure such as last mile connectivity, the government has made it possible for players such as Bank of Kigali to build digital solutions. This is a part of uh, a digital transformation uh, journey that um, you know, puts really the citizen at the center, transforming how the citizen receives services. In the, this particular case, we're talking about um, uh, banking services. Uh, for us, we really think about financial inclusion. Uh, and also we think about how is the citizen able to get you know, better services, not, not only just the banking service, but also uh, how do those services enable them to participate in the digital economy, but also to grow the economy? So for us, working closely with the bank is thinking about the, the entire uh, scope of what, what is needed to make it possible. Number one is the regulation that enable uh, improving uh, the quality of uh, uh, internet of, uh, over, over time, because uh, the backbone of these services is the quality of internet uh, that uh, enables not only creating these services but also making them accessible to the client. Number two is the talent. Uh, the talent is important and what I think was uh, very successful here uh, that the Bank of Kigali has done is the ability to create their own systems using their own talent. Now, as they mentioned, the journey might not have been easy, but because of the, the country's investment in building the talent uh, for the future, uh, that, that are the talent that is able to interact with technology, build technologies, we are starting to see a wave of new products, um, not only in banking service, but in other services we are digitizing. We are see, seeing a wave of products that are designed by our own talents. This is really something to celebrate. So, as part of the government is really to continuously invest in talent, uh, Rwandan talent that is able to, to develop the system and that's one of the role we play. But more importantly is really innovation. We, we see technology as a tool to better uh, uh, services and so we continue to work on the different um, uh, programs that enable uh, local startups to create products and that we hope uh, many of them will be collaborating and partnering with uh, the corporates, including banks uh, like Bank of Kigali, to make sure that these services can, can be better contextualized and owned by, by the local uh, uh, startup. That's all we had for today's segment of Focus On, and there's no doubt with these products, the future of digital banking holds promise in Rwanda and in Africa, and it will continue to play an important role in the evolution of financial services. I am Julius Bismungu. Thank you so much for watching.